Kling AI is the most powerful AI video generator right now, but most people have no idea how to use it properly. After testing dozens of AI video tools over the past six months, I can confidently say that Kling's quality is unmatched if you know what you're doing. In this complete guide, I'll show you exactly how to master Kling AI in just eight minutes. From basic functions to advanced techniques, that will make your videos hardly look like they were made with AI. And you don't need any technical skills or previous experience, as I'll break everything down step by step so you can start creating insane videos today. First, let's log into Kling. If you don't have an account yet, I'll leave a link in the description where you can sign up and get some free credits to test it out. Once you're logged in, you'll see the dashboard with several options. And for this tutorial, we'll focus on the video generator, which is the core feature of Kling. There are two main ways to create videos with Kling. Text to video, where you describe what you want, and image to video, where you animate an existing image. Let's start with text to video, as it's the easiest way to begin. Most people write vague and generic prompts, and then wonder why their videos look terrible. The key to getting amazing results is using what I call the five-part cinematic prompt structure, which breaks down like this. First is the subject description, like who or what is in the scene, then it's the action that is taking place, followed by the environment, then the lighting and atmosphere, and finally the camera movement. For example, instead of writing a man walking in a forest, you should write a rugged explorer with a weathered face and brown leather jacket carefully navigates through a dense misty forest with towering pine trees. Golden sunlight filters through the canopy, creating dramatic shadows photorealistic. The camera slowly tracks forward, following him from behind as he moves deeper into the woods. The level of detail in the prompt directly translates to the quality of the video. Let me give you another example for a completely different scene. If you wanted to create a futuristic cityscape, your prompt could be a gleaming futuristic metropolis with towering glass skyscrapers and flying vehicles zooming between buildings. The city is bustling with activity as holographic advertisements illuminate the streets below. Neon lights reflect off wet pavement after a recent rainfall. The camera starts high above the city and gradually descends, moving through the layers of flying traffic to reveal the street level. This detailed prompt will give you a much more immersive and visually stunning result than simply typing futuristic city. Kling needs specific guidance to create exactly what you're envisioning. Now let's move on to the image to video feature, which is perfect if you already have a specific image that you want to animate. Click on the frames tab and upload your image. For this example, I'll use this photo of a woman standing on a mountain overlook. Once your image is uploaded, you'll need to write a prompt describing how you want it to be animated. The same five part structure applies, but you can focus more on the movement and camera work since the subject and environment are already defined in your image. Here's a prompt I'll use. The woman's hair and clothes gently move in the mountain breeze as she takes a deep breath of the fresh air. The clouds in the background drift slowly across the sky, while distant birds soar between peaks. The camera gradually pulls back to reveal more of the majestic landscape surrounding her. This prompt tells Kling exactly what elements should move and how the camera should behave. The result is a naturally animated scene that brings the still image to life. Let me show you another image to video example. This time, I'll use a photo of a coffee cup on a table next to a window. The prompt would be, a coffee cup sits on a wooden windowsill, with soft light coming through the window. Outside, people walk by on the busy street, some rushing, others strolling. The camera slowly moves in a subtle arc around the cup, maintaining focus on the coffee cup while the background gradually blurs. This prompt creates a cozy atmospheric scene from a simple still image by adding multiple layers of movement and a subtle camera motion. Now let's explore one of Kling's most powerful features that will take your videos to the next level, the elements feature. This allows you to combine different images into a single scene. For example, you can place a character from one image into an environment from another. To use this, go to the elements tab, upload your character image and your background image. Then write a prompt describing how they should interact. Let me show you an example. I'll combine this businessman image with this office background. The businessman confidently presents to an unseen audience in the modern office space. Gesturing with his hands as he speaks, the office environment remains static while he moves naturally. The camera slowly zooms in on him as he delivers his presentation. Kling seamlessly blends these two elements together, creating a professional video without needing to film anything. This is incredibly useful for creating business presentations, educational content, or any scenario where you need to place subjects in specific environments. Let's try another elements example. I'll combine an image of a dog with a beach background and type, 
The golden retriever runs playfully along the shoreline, kicking up sand and water as its paws hit the wet beach. Its fur and ears bounce with each stride as it chases after an unseen object. Waves gently roll onto the shore in the background while seagulls fly overhead. The camera pans smoothly, following the dog from the side as it runs from left to right across the frame. This creates an awesome scene, combining two separate images into one cohesive video that looks completely natural. Next, let's look at the lip sync feature, which allows you to add voices to your characters. After generating your video, click on the lip sync button below it. You can either type what you want the character to say and choose from various AI voices or upload your own audio file. While Kling has its own voice options, I personally prefer using Eleven Labs for my voiceovers because the quality is just on another level. Eleven Labs offers incredibly natural sounding AI voices that can add that extra layer of professionalism to your videos. You can either generate a voice from scratch or clone your own voice, which is perfect if you want consistency across all your content. To use Eleven Labs with Kling, first simply generate your voiceover in Eleven Labs, download the audio file, and then upload it to Kling's lip sync feature. I'll leave a link in the description where you can try Eleven Labs for free and see the difference it makes in your videos. For our businessman example, I'll paste this right here, then I'll select a professional male voice, hit generate, upload the file on Kling, and generate the lip sync. Our new strategy drove 27% revenue growth and cut costs by 15%. You can clearly see that the lip movements match perfectly with the speech, creating a realistic talking head video. Now let's dive into some advanced settings that will help you get the most out of Kling. In the settings panel, you'll find several important options that dramatically affect your results. First, always select professional mode for the highest quality output. This uses more credits, but the difference in quality is substantial. The professional mode provides better texture details, more realistic lighting, smoother animations, and overall more polished results. Then you'll need to adjust the creativity slider based on your needs. If you want the AI to strictly follow your prompt without adding its own ideas, keep this slider toward the relevance end. If you want the AI to have more creative freedom and potentially add interesting elements that you didn't specify, move it toward the creativity end. For most professional uses, I recommend keeping it somewhere toward the relevant side to ensure predictable results. Third is to always use negative prompts to avoid common AI issues. In the negative prompt field, Type things like blurry, distorted, unrealistic hands, warp faces, glitchy movement, pixelated, low quality, jerky camera, unnatural lighting. This tells the AI specifically what to avoid, resulting in cleaner, more professional videos. Also, when creating a series of videos featuring the same character, use the exact same reference image for each generation. Additionally, try to maintain similar lighting conditions and camera angles in your prompts to ensure visual consistency. If you want to see more advanced tutorials on AI, make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.